Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have some Happy Mail here from Cat Espresso Co. and I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I'm actually gonna have a few different Happy Mail videos or haul videos because I had collected a whole bunch of stuff that I hadn't even opened. And so I wanna share all of that. I'm gonna do most of it in one video. And then I have a prize that I had won on Instagram and I wanted to make that as a separate video. And then I wanted this as a separate video because it's kind of different than the other stuff that I'm gonna be sharing. So you're gonna see a few haul videos this week and then hopefully a fountain pen video and some ink videos and a few other things as well. But this is my Cat Espresso Co. order and I'm really excited about it because I love Cat Espresso Co. It's one of my favorite companies and they sell A6 ring accessories that I love. And because I'm gonna be setting up this jelly cover from Paperbound Creations, this is an A6 ring jelly cover that I shared in an unboxing from Paperbound Creations. So I'll link that up in the cards up above. But I'm going to be setting this up as my sort of fidget spinner. That's what Robin from Talks from the Heart calls hers. But it's basically a just a fun ring plan that I can flip through when I need to be creative or when I'm just having a rough day or just need to get some endorphins from flipping through something cute and fun. So this this is gonna be my fidget spinner and I wanted to get some additional A6 ring accessories to use in it and also to use in my other A6 ring planners or binders, setups, whatever you wanna call it. And they were having a sale so a lot of the stuff I wanted was on sale so I decided that I would order a few different things. And then I also added a couple of personal ring size things because I'm going to be setting up my Bible size plotter in, I think, I think in August. I think August is when I'm going to set it up. But since I was ordering, I decided to add those to it as well. So this is all A6 ring stuff. And then these are personal size, which fits in my plotter. So let me open these first and I'll grab my plotter so I can show you. All right, there's my plotter. Let me take the plastic off. Okay, so I have one of these in A6 size as well, but this is a folder that has little pockets inside that fits into your ring planner. So it is slit, if you can see that. And so it just pops onto your rings like that. And then you can just pull up and open it up and get to the things inside. I really like these, they're very thin, so they don't bulk anything up, which is especially great in the plotter because it's so small and has such tiny rings. And I think the coffee stains are really cute. So I got that, and then I got this. I don't think I've ever had one of these before. So this is a little bit different. This one is not slit, if you can see that. But it has this sort of tab closure on it. And so you open it up and it has like a file system inside of it. So it has little tabbed dividers inside. You can organize things and keep things inside in an organized fashion. I hadn't tried one of these, I don't think. I don't think I've ever bought one of these from Caspresso Co. But I thought it might be useful in my Bible for just scribble and the black matched really well with this and then it has some sort of taupe colors on it too and so it will also work in my woozy which is brown it's the same size it's just a different brand it also has the small like 10 11 millimeter size ring so it would work in either one of them and i could keep this in the back and then i could file stuff away in there that i don't need to get to all of the time but i would have it with me so those are the two personal size inserts or accessories that i bought the little folder and then the little file system and so those will go inside my Bible size plotter. But the real reason I ordered was for A6, all things A6, because that is my favorite ring size. So I am, as you guys probably know, if you've been watching my community tab or you're following me on Instagram, or you've seen some of my recent videos, I am launching planners for 2025. So I have been sharing some sneak peeks and when the samples come, I'll be doing videos on those and talking about when the launch is gonna happen and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm also planning on launching printables. And initially I'm gonna be launching printables in A6 size because that is the ring size that I love the most. So I wanted to get some additional accessories because I'm going to set up some different ring, A6 ring 
using binders with some of the inserts that I'm testing out. Not necessarily to carry with me all the time as like my EDC, but to use and to test out to make sure that they're printing properly, and to make sure that they work properly inside the ring planner and all those kinds of things. So I wanted some additional accessories because I was setting up my little fidget spinner. And then I wanted some extra ones to put into the binders that I'm gonna set up to test inserts. So I bought this jelly cover that has the blue on it. So it has a blue scalloped angled pocket there on the front. On the back it has a horizontal pocket also in the blue. And then it has sparkle jelly on it. So I got that blue one. And then I bought this one in the blush pink. And it has a large pocket in the front. And then on the back it has a secretarial pocket with stars. And so it's glitter here and then stars on the pink where the pockets are. And then this is the same as the pink, it's just in clear. So it's kind of stuck together because it's jelly. So you have the big pocket there and then on the back you have the secretarial pocket. And then this one is a hollow star one and it just has one pocket there. And then this one is a pink one and it has two scalloped card pockets. So one on the top and one on the bottom. I'm gonna kind of organize these. So the clear, this could go with the blue or the clear. And then I'm gonna put the pink stuff together because I think I'm gonna use some of the pink stuff in my July setup. And this one has the same scalloped card pockets but they're in the milky white, which is my favorite jelly of all times. So it looks like that. And then this one just has a clear star pocket, like a full length one. And then I ordered two, let's see, three, one, two, three, four. Four of these. I'm always afraid she's going to sell out or stop carrying these and it's hard to find a six ring accessories and I really liked that these particular ones were plain. There was no glitter or anything and so I bought four of them but they're just card pockets and they're really nicely made. So you have one there and one there. So I bought four of those and then another scalloped pocket one but this time in clear. So I bought that same style in pink milky and clear. And then I bought two of her Maya's Life little folders. This is the Sweet Life and this is the Planner Life. So it has her little character. It's like a little pig, I think. I'm not 100% sure. And she has little donuts and it says boba and donut. And it's just a little folder that you can keep ephemera in or photos or whatever it is that you want. And I thought this would be fun in the fidget spinner. And then I bought the same thing in the planner life. So it has little planners on it. So they're identical. It's just that the pattern is different or like the character pattern stuff is different. And then I bought the same thing that I bought for the personal rings, the little file system. I bought one in a six size. I probably won't use this anytime soon, but I wanted to snag it while she had it. And I didn't take these out of the other one, but the tabs come out like the little dividers. So you can take them out and put labels on them and then put them back in and organize your stuff in there. I'll probably use this in the fall because I think the colors kind of lean fall and the cover that I'm using for July doesn't really go with this, but this would be really great in one of my black ones for like October, that'd be kind of fun. And then I bought some acetate. So I bought this one that has all of the months on it. This one that has stars, this one with polka dots, and this one that's gamers. And they all have this clear film on them. So when you take the clear film off, it's super clear. I thought these would be so fun in the fidget spinner. So I'll probably end up using all of these acetates in there with the exception of the months one. I think I'm gonna put the months one in my July setup. I'm gonna to try to do a video with you guys setting that up if I can. It's a little time consuming, so I don't know if I'll be able to set it up with you on camera or if I'll just do a flip of the setup after it's set up. But this will go with this stuff. 
And then last but not least, I bought this little one. It has a heart on it. I love hearts. And I've seen this a few times and never bought it, but I decided this time to buy it. So it has a little bit of a larger card slot there. And then like a business size card slot there. And on the back, it has a secretarial pocket in the hollow. So these acetates and this, those will probably go in the fidget spinner setup, which we're going to do together when I get to that point. And then this will probably be for like October or November's A6 rings setup. And then I think I'll keep the blue and the heart and the hollow. I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for yet, but I think, I think the, maybe I'll use the milky. I'm not sure if I want to use the milky or just the clear. No, probably the clear. So I think this stuff and this are probably going to go in the fidget spinner. No guarantee that I'm going to use everything in there, but that's kind of the plan. And then of course I can change it anytime I want and play with it. That's kind of the point of the fidget spinner is to just kind of play and do setups, something that brings me joy and lets me use my covers. So that's my unboxing from Cretspresso Co. You'll see some of these in my July setup. You'll see some of these in the fidget spinner setup when we set this up. You'll see some of them in my Bible setup in August. And then of course you'll see them throughout the rest of the year and next year, anytime I'm setting up my A6 rings. But that's my unboxing from Cretspresso Co. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.